Off day and good morning. It is a bright and sunny day in San Diego, but it's also a very cold one. So uh, right before um, I dropped uh, the wife to work, I had to uh, basically clean off the ice off my windshield. And I've never done that before, but check it out. It's so cold outside that when I went to clean my windshield, it turned to freaking ice. It's frosted, look at this. So yeah, it was super cold, but uh, today I have something to do. I have to start working on my miniature backlog, and um, I don't know what mini I'm going to start painting. So let's work through it. Okay, so I have, I showed you in that New Year's resolution video, uh, all the stuff that I want to start painting and what and what's in that bin what's in the the drawers like there's a bunch of stuff in there so um, I'm just gonna show you a few of the things I have and I'll probably try to make up my mind I don't know if I want to do a full unit of miniatures maybe I'll try just one of them but uh, let's go see what I got Okay, so I know this kind of looks crazy. There is a bunch of stuff I just put a little bit away. Uh, but I do have some things that I kind of want to finish for my War Machine Army. So this is like, um, these are some uh, zealots that I've been wanting to paint, but they're sort of on the bottom of this list. Uh, these are old rec markers that uh, there used to be for Privateer Press. Like there used to be uh, rec markers in the game. They are no longer in the game. Uh, here is a unit. These are Daughters of the Flame. And I've been wanting to get them painted up. I did the bases already. So now I just need to actually paint or mod them or pin them to the base and then prime. But these are also on the bottom. I, I actually don't know what the... Um, have an exemplar seneschal that I wanted to paint. Uh, Kel Baylock because I was playing a um, arranged uh, heavy list and I wanted to add him in it as a solo. Uh, what else do I have? Oh, this is like the pieces for the um, Harbinger. Uh, this is a oh Iris one and a just a random mini. Uh, I also have some minis from a game we used to play called Anima Tactics. And these were actually, this is actually very fun. I got these right before the game got discontinued, but I think they look really cool. I kind of want to do them as a display piece in the future. This guy used to be a, a leader uh, for a faction in Anima Tactics as well. Uh, I believe this is Krios, Krios 2 that I, I picked up. I actually have two of these guys. I have two Krios 2. Uh, models somewhere. Uh, I got one as a as a bundle with Krios 1 and Krios 3. So this guy is also Krios 2 and I have two of them so I need I want to at least um, uh, strip and paint one. This is a Guardian. Two Cinerators. I only have a I painted up a minimum unit with three models for Cinerators. Oh, what else do I have? Oh here High Reclaimer. I really I'm thinking about doing him next. So High Reclaimer as my Warcaster. Uh, this is Vindictus. He's also a Warcaster. Here's a um, limited edition model from Amatactics, the Kine de la Croix. I'm not sure if it's Kine or Kane de la Croix. This is a limited edition sculpt for Amatactics. I kind of want. I really wanted to paint this actually, uh, only you know because it's a limited edition. So that's cool. Uh, Lady Ayana Master Holt. I got this before the new edition of War Machine came out, so before the Mark III. But I did start. Um, I did start painting this guy or assembling this guy in a video I did when I was still on Guam. I should just start this and just as a, a warm-up piece while I uh, 
get back into it. I might actually just do this guy. You know, since he's already done, he's already based, it would be a good way to get me just to uh, start painting again. So, yeah, maybe I'll start with him. Oh. It's a good thing this is plastic because it's super durable. But, um, yeah, okay, I'll start with him. Let me Let's see if we can see it. Yeah, maybe I'll start with this guy. And then I'll probably move on to High Reclaimer next because there's a list I think I want to do with him. So, yeah. We'll see. But yeah, that's the minis. Okay, so now I need to prime this mini. I'm gonna use uh, this regular Krylon primer and I'm gonna do it on top of the priming table, makeshift priming table. So just let me show you how this works. I should really be wearing gloves for this step, but I forgot to put them on. So I'm doing it without gloves. Anyway, uh, right now I'm applying some thin coats of primer. Usually it's just two passes of the spray can about 45 degrees hitting the model and right now I'm just gonna turn it over so I can hit the underside of it. Same thing, two passes um, with a spray can. That way you can get all the model. And then you set it down for about 10 minutes and you go at it again. The reason why you want two passes or you only do two passes is you don't want the paint to uh, clump up on the model and you want the detail to show through. So usually it only takes me about two coats of primer to get a small model like this fully primed. So after priming two coats and letting it wait or rest for 10 minutes each time, uh, I think I'm done priming this guy. There is a little bit of like a color that's showing through. So you can kind of see the cork. I'm not sure, let me see if I can focus in on that. You can kind of see the cork color and the nooks and crannies of this, but that's fine because I'm going to cover it with paint anyway. And then a little bit right there on his right kneecap, that area. But it's there's still a light, it's like a light, uh, light gray, but that's fine. If you want to look at the back, this actually looks really good. Really, um, if we can get closer. Even coat, see that? So, still good detail in the face. Yeah, some pretty good detail in the face. Let me see if I can get some better light on. Yeah, so you can probably see some of the shadows, some of the detail, but it looks really good. Um, I'm happy with this prime job. Yeah, see, so you can see the, the cork, but I'm gonna fill that in, that's fine. There's a little bit of lighter spots here too on the right foot, but uh, I think overall, it looks good. Nice and cl nice and even. So, yeah, I think that's it. Should be starting painting soon now. So, um, stay tuned for that. So I just finished priming the miniature, and now it's time to paint. Uh, I don't know when, but I want to start painting on Twitch. So I'll probably do a, a small post on on my Instagram announcing that I'm gonna paint and hope you guys can join me. So uh, look out for that and I will see you guys later.